One of the biggest concerns that people have about radios like this, the Radio Master TX16S, and other such radios with these gigantic color screens is that it's going to eat up too much of your battery life. But today, I'm going to show you a way to manage that because this gigantic color screen doesn't have to be on all the time. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just turn a knob and turn that brightness up and down? or even have it turn off automatically when you arm your quad. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. In just a minute, I'm gonna show you how to set up that knob and switch to manually control the screen's brightness. But we gotta acknowledge the radio ships from the factory with an automatic way of managing the brightness, and the main reason that you're gonna do it manually is you don't like the way that the radio does it automatically. So let's start by going in and turning off the automatic screen brightness management. So we're going to press the Sys key and then we're going to page to the radio setup screen and scroll down to the backlight section there. Uh, and uh, the configuration there lets us determine whether the backlight is on all the time, whether it times out after a certain number of second, seconds of inactivity. And you can see I've got it set to zero seconds, which just means it's on all the time. And the reason I do that is because I hate it when I'm looking at the screen and then it just dims itself. I just want it to be on when I'm looking at it. And like, I'll just turn it off when I'm done with it. But as long as we're here, we should acknowledge that there are various ways you can configure it. You can turn it off. You can set it to turn itself on when you move any of the controls, the sticks, press the buttons, both of those, or just on all the time. And then in addition, you can set the on brightness and the off brightness to whatever you like. If that works for you, that's fine. But for me, I just set it on all the time and that sucks my battery down way faster. It super annoys me. Like, I got my goggles on. I don't need to be see, have the screen sucking down battery when I'm under my goggles. I'm not looking at it. So here is the workaround for that. I'm gonna press the Sys key again, and I am going to page, and this time I'm gonna page to the global function screen. And what I wanna set up is a global function like you see here. Now, if you don't know how to set that up, let me just delete it for you and I'll set it up from scratch. So I'm going to start by choosing one of these global function lines, just anyone that doesn't have anything on it will choose global function 2, and I'll click the jog wheel one time. The switch parameter allows us to turn this global function on and off. Well, we want this one to be on all the time because we always want to be controlling the backlight using this method. So the way we accomplish that is by click the jog wheel one time, scroll all the way to the bottom. You can, by the way, if you have Edge TX, you can use the touch screen. This also works in Open TX. Uh, we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to choose the on option, meaning it's on all the time. The function is going to be backlight. And then for the value, that's what's gonna actually set the brightness of the backlight. So we're gonna click value here, and then with this menu open, I'm just going to turn the knob, whichever knob I wanna to use to control the backlight, I'm gonna turn it, and when I do that, it will automatically highlight that control, and I'll just click the jog wheel one time. And then finally, I need to enable this, and it's you see it immediately worked. You see that? I need to enable it. Let me just turn the knob up here to turn the brightness up. If you don't enable, then the special function doesn't work. You would think it would just be enabled all the time, but there you go. Now, having done that, I have full control over my backlight, uh, backlight brightness by just turning this knob. So I'm going to record a video here on camera, crank it all the way up. Out in the sun, crank it all up, way up. Here uh, indoors, I just want to read it a little bit dimmer. Turn it down. Turn it all the way down. It's up to you. So that is how you set up a knob to control the screen brightness. But the next thing you might want to do is automatically turn the screen off when you arm, because after all, you're under the goggles, so you're not looking at the screen. May as well save the battery power. Before I show you how to do it, that though, if you value the content that you've seen so far, would you mind going down right down below and hit the like button? It helps YouTube know that this is a good video that people are enjoying, and it helps show it to more people. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for doing that. So in order to do that, the first thing I need to do is make this line not be active all the time. Because when we're armed, we're going to want the screen to just be off, right? And when we're disarmed, we're going to want the screen to be controlled by this knob. So we can accomplish that by editing this, and the switch parameter 
is going to be our arm switch in the disarm position. So I'm gonna put the arm switch in the disarm position and it's gonna pick that up as SF down. And so now when the switch is in the disarm position, the knob controls the brightness. And when the switch is in the arm position, nothing happens. So now we're gonna build the second half of this logic. To do that, we're gonna highlight GF2 and choose copy and then go down to GF3 and paste. And now we have a second copy of that that we can modify. We're gonna edit that and the switch parameter is gonna be SF in the arm position. The function is gonna be backlight and the value, we need the value to just be like zero, okay? Now it turns out that the simplest way to do that for me would be to set the value equal to the arm switch, switch SF. And the reason that works for me is that my arm position is away and my disarm position is towards. So it just so happens that when I arm, switch SF has a logical value of zero and when I disarm, switch SF has a value of 100. But that's not gonna work for everybody because some people may have a three position and the middle position is armed, in which case the backlight would go to 50%. And that's not, that's not gonna work. So how do we get a value of like zero? into this position. <clears throat> Boy, I'm really stumped here. If you didn't have your arm switch armed when pushed away, about the only way I can think of to do this would be just to pick a switch that you don't use. Like, oh, your momentary. Your momentary is always pushed away. That's it. Let's assign it to the momentary. Click here, pull the momentary. Switch SH gets filled in as the value. Switch SH. And now whenever I arm, the momentary is controlling my backlight, but the momentary is always off anyway, so it basically turns off. Boy, that's a really inelegant approach. Uh, the, what I was gonna say is just pick a switch that you never use, so it's just always in the up position, which is also pretty inelegant, but I can't think of another way globally to put that value in there. And I, could, I could think of model specific ways to do it, like use an unused aux channel or use a global variable, but I can't think of a, a radio specific way to just say, go to zero. Um, so that's how we're gonna do it. And it'll work. When I arm, the screen turns off. When I disarm, the screen turns on. When I disarm, the screen is controlled by this knob. Now you may have noticed there's another line here that controls the volume of the radio with a knob. And if you wanna know more about how to set that up, I've, well, if you watched this video, you may have already figured it out. But if you need a little help, I'm gonna put a flyout card on screen that will link to my tutorial of how to set that up, as well as another video you might wanna watch. And if you like this kind of content, maybe consider joining my Patreon. You could support me for as little as $2 a month or more if you feel like I've earned it. If today's the day that I've earned it, click that link and join my Patreon. If I haven't earned it yet, keep watching content. I'll keep making content and hopefully someday that day will come. Thank you so much for watching. Happy flying.